everyone, it's me, Angela Rockwood, The Rolling Empire. Welcome to my show today, Thursday, Tidbit Thursday. It's all about information. It's basically Ask Ange Anything. So today, the famous question from most of the girls out there on wheels, how do you wear heels on wheels? Heels on wheels, heels on wheels. It's all about rocking them high heels in wheels, on wheels, in a wheelchair. I'm gonna show you today. Today on Tidbit Thursday, my girl Aubrey Brown is gonna come over to my house. We're gonna jump in the closet. She's gonna clean the closet all up. She's gonna get rid of my shoes that I don't wear and get all the shoes that I do wear. We're gonna organize them all up together. And then I'm gonna pick five pairs of high heels, specific types, different types, all kinds of different types. And I'm gonna basically show you with my honey, Stefano Profeta, how to wear high heels on wheels. All right, so enjoy. Hi everyone, it's me, Ange. I'm in my closet right now, and I'm gonna tack these shoes with my girl, Aubrey Brown. And it's crazy up in here. You can see the craziness. It's all unorganized. There are freaking shoes with no buddies, no partners in crime. Things are not placed back in the boxes. Aubrey! Tip of the iceberg. Everyone, so here we are in my closet, and it's the moment that you've been waiting for. The main question that everybody keeps asking, how do you wear heels on wheels? So I'm gonna answer that question for you at this very moment. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick five different types of shoes here, or up there, if you can pan up there. We'll pick five different types of shoes, and my honey's gonna help me, and I basically am gonna show you how to wear high heels so that your feet can be positioned, your legs don't get all bendy and lopsided and all retrous and whatever, so just stay tuned, and here we go. Kenzo, what is that, duct tape? So we have duct tape, and I've picked out five different pairs of shoes. I have some flats on that I was wearing earlier. I don't normally wear flats because I have high arches and my feet do get swollen in flat shoes, which is really weird because I can wear heels all day and not get swollen feet. But as you see, we have the blue pair, basic pumps. The white ones, it's a platform. We have your basic boots. You, we have your fancy schmancy for the evening. So I will show you and my honey will show you how we're gonna do yeah. this. So we have the flats on. And for most individuals, I don't know about your plates, but my love, can you please lift up my left foot here, my right foot, I mean? You can see on my plate here, there's like kind of like a grid. You can see really closely. There's like a little grid here. It's like a, what would you call it? It's like what they use on skateboards and everything. I basically went to Home Depot and I bought it because it keeps your foot from not slipping all over the place. So you definitely need, you definitely need the texture. And for those of you who don't have the little grid that's on the plate, good old duct tape will work for you. You're basically gonna cut a piece of it, you're going to wrap it around each other and then stick it, and you stick it on the bottom of the shoe. So you need two slices. So cut that in half. And then you're going to fold it over each other and you're going to make cuffs like Wonder Woman cuffs. Of course with the sticky side sticking outward. So go ahead. Like this? Mm-hmm. And then the other one too. And you don't have to cut such big pieces but depending on the base of your shoe it's all depending on you. Now? So now you take my foot with these flats on, you put it on the bottom of both shoes. On the base, nope, go to the foot, the base. Go back, up, up to the top, right there. That part, that's the main part. Don't let any of the tape show. And if it's showing, that means you cut too big of a piece. Mm. And then you plant it onto the plate. Whee! And you okay, position. so all you have to do is just place your feet on the plate of the wheelchair. Make sure you push your foot down firmly 
so that the tape sticks to the plate and you should it shouldn't wiggle whatsoever and I've actually done this with flats for a commercial for a tie light commercial so here's a second pair of shoes they're like the basic white platform shoes the wedge the wedge platform is the most easiest thing to wear in a wheelchair because they're very sturdy and stable they don't wobble and you don't get that like broken barbie doll ankle look so for those of you who are just starting to wear high heels then just start off with wedges and, so and the shoe fits it fits so you have to clasp it of course put the shoe on it'll be all wobbly because the thing is you got to put both pairs of shoes on that way they can be laying next to each other side by side and then you're going to balance them and then I'm going to show you what to do. So as you can see here, I have the platforms on and they're pretty sturdy. I can wobble and everything. I don't get that broken Barbie doll ankle look. And if you can see on the side, which I'll turn sideways, you can see from the side. Go down, babe. Look down. It's all about the shoes here. So you can see how stable it is with the wedges. It doesn't do any weird ankle twisting movement. And so these are the best to start off with, with wearing high heels on wheels. Okay, so here's the third pair of shoes. It's like the basic boot, basically. It's a high heel, about a three inch heel. Uh, I'm a little funkier. I like skulls and butterflies, things like that. So luckily I was able to find these, but any kind of boots out there that are just like sturdy, it goes all the way to the top with the ankle. That helps with like ankle support. You basically open the boot, you slide the foot in, make sure you don't twist your ankle, slide the foot in, zip the side up. You've got all kinds of boots from little mini boots to booties to tall boots to knee high boots. Uh, I have from every kind of boot, but these are one of my favorite, the open toe boot. And like I said, it's like wearing high tops back in the 80s when you're playing basketball. You want to support the ankle, so you wear boots, and that helps with ankles not buckling. They stay in pretty sturdy. You make sure you put the feet side by side. See from and the side shot, I don't like the heels to go off the plate because what that does is it starts creating pain in my ankles. So I basically balance the shoes next to each other side by side and I push them back. Of course, you have to adjust your strap accordingly so that it fits in the back of your ankle and you don't you want to balance it out. And basically that's one way. This is the second way of wearing high heels in a wheelchair is by wearing boots. Right, so we have here the fourth pair of high heels that I picked out of my closet and it's the basic high heel pump. It is an open toe. It's about a three and a half, maybe four inch heel. If we need to break out a tape measure, we can measure it, but it looks like one, two, three. Yeah, it's a four inch heel. So, okay, so again, you slide your foot in. Be careful not to twist your ankles. They're a little snug. It's the end of the day, so my, my feet are a little swollen. You gotta make sure your toes are all pointing forward. You don't want any pain. And another note, I don't know if a lot of folks, if you can't feel your feet, I could feel my feet. I could feel pressure and when my feet are uncomfortable. If you can't feel your feet, your body still feels pain. So if you're wearing heels that are too tight, that can also cause your body to spasm, to twist, to turn, and that will keep it from not being balanced here on the plate. We place the shoes together side by side, and we have this black strap here. Everybody pretty much has a strap on their wheelchair. This keeps the feet balanced and secure. So sometimes, if this strap is too large, it won't support your legs, and your legs will be all wobbly and everything. So the key thing is to put them side by side, make sure that this strap comes right behind the ankles, so that it has something to rest on or you're going to be going like all twisted and all out of whack and it's not going to be fun once you start pushing. So you got to make sure you position them, you center them. Now that I put that grit on there, they don't want to move a lot. So that little grit tape works a lot. But um, you keep them balanced and you push them back into the strap. If they're separated like that, if there's too much space, then it's going to definitely turn at the ankle and you don't want that. 
So there you go. So here's the fifth pair, the very last pair, but it doesn't mean the only type of pair of shoes that you could wear on heels. This one, as you can see, is a little more dressier, and uh, the heel is no, it's not any more higher than the last one we were just working with, the basic pump. This one is probably three inches, and the only thing about this one that's beautiful is that if you keep in mind, when you buy shoes, look at the bottom. You see the grid? Uh, it's got like this little matty, patty. Let me show you here. That little gritty part, rubbery part. And the thing is, you can go to some shoe companies and they actually sell them, some shoe stores. So you slide the foot in. You kind of balance it. It's going to be wobbly until you put both shoes on. You buckle it up. You position it. Remember to always extend your strap in the back. You don't want your heels to go off the back of the plate. Some girls like to wear their heels off the back of the plate. I don't particularly like it. I think it looks a little naff. And NAF is N-A-A-F, not at all fashionable, in a sense of that's how they keep their, I guess you would say their heels sturdy on the plate. But for me, the reason why I just say it's naffy is because it does create pain in my ankles. I'll do it sometimes if we're on a very rough, patchy road or sidewalk and I need to basically hurry up to an event and get somewhere, then I'll stick and shove my shoes back a little more, but then I start getting dysreflexic and start dealing with pain, and I don't like there that. There you go. There are the fancy schmancy shoes on wheels, heels on wheels. You can keep rocking your sex appeal, your style appeal, your romantic appeal, your casual appeal with any kinds of heels. Now you kind of know little secrets, tidbits here and there. Like I stated, it can be done. So thank you for joining me today on Tidbit Thursday because every Thursday, it's going to be all about information. It's the Ask Ange Anything. Send your questions, comments. I will answer them. I'll make a show about it. And then I will go from there. So keep doing you. Be unstoppable. Shine to the fullest. And be a rolling empire. Bye, everyone. Have a gorgeous Thursday.